Hi everyone and welcome back to Paymas Kitchen. I am Selina and today we are making another one of my favorite traditional recipes. It's mutton and cabbage. And one of the most satisfying, indulgent and flavorsome parts of this dish for me is that gravy. I enjoy my cabbage infused in all of the oils of my mutton. And to achieve this, I use breast mutton. However, if you prefer a less oilier dish, rather opt for leg and shoulder mutton pieces. I'm going all out, so let's go for it. Firstly, you don't need a lot of oil if you're using breast mutton. I'm only using a quarter cup of oil. There will be a lot of oil released from your breast mutton itself. I'm adding my green chilies, two large onions that I've diced and my curry leaves to the hot oil. And when my onions are slightly translucent, I will then add my whole spices. Try and use a deep pot. You're going to need one to accommodate all of that gravy as well as all of the cabbage that you're going to add to your curry while it's braising. I'm now ready to add my whole spices. I've got bay leaves, cinnamon, cloves, star anise and cardamom. And we're going to fry it up in the oil, let it release its flavours and then add two teaspoons of crushed ginger and garlic. Lower your temperature and fry your ginger and garlic for a few seconds. We're now going to add our ground spices. Two teaspoons of cumin, that's our jeera powder. Two teaspoons of roasted dhania powder, that's our coriander. A heaped teaspoon of turmeric. Three tablespoons of masala, I'm using Nagia's everyday masala. Followed by two tablespoons of Kashmiri hot chili powder. A slight stir in the oil and then we can add our tomatoes. You can grate your tomatoes or liquidize it or dice it up, whatever your preference. I've liquidized about three jam tomatoes. Mix your tomatoes into all of that spices and we want it to simmer now for approximately five to ten minutes. After about 10 minutes, it has more of a chutney consistency. We are now ready to add our mutton. As I mentioned, I'm using breast mutton, which is fattier. The way I enjoy all of that oils being released in the curry, and especially the cabbage being braised with that breast mutton all together. And that combination of that flavors is what makes it so authentic. Sear your mutton into the spices. We want it to coat all of our breast mutton so when it's cooking, the spices are penetrating into your mutton as well as your breast mutton is releasing all of those flavors, those incredible oils that make it so lush and indulgent. Now add salt to taste. and braise everything on a low to medium heat for approximately 30 minutes. After about 30 minutes, which is more or less halfway through our cooking time, already you can see all of the beautiful oils being released. You will not need any boiling water if you use breast mutton. If you use leg and shoulder, you might need a dash of boiling water. I'm now ready to add my cabbage. I had a very large head of cabbage, so I'm only using three quarters of it. It was soaking in some warm water. And I'm now just going to top it up inside my pot. And this is the other reason we needed a deep pot, is to accommodate all of our cabbage. So fill it up right to the top. Your cabbage will reduce down 
and we will need to give it some time to wilt approximately 10 minutes in that steam. And after about 10 minutes, your cabbage is already wilted. You can now mix it and it's much easier to mix it into all of your gravy. The color is looking so fantastic and the aroma is just making my mouth water. You can now let it cook for 20 to 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, approximately an hour in total, and at this point, you can decide whether you prefer to let your cabbage cook a bit longer if you like it to be more wilted down or if you prefer to have a slight crunch. I will let it simmer for a further five minutes, but before I do, I'm adding some frozen dhania, which I've kept in my freezer for emergencies. But this goes perfectly because I'm not specifically using it as a garnish. I'm adding it now to my curry because I want it to simmer all together for another five minutes. And this also just adds to that flavor and lifts your mutton and cabbage dish. So five minutes and then you're ready to serve with roti or basmati rice a luscious salad, whatever you guys enjoy. And after about five minutes, you're ready to serve your mutton and cabbage curry. Look at that delectable gravy. It's crammed with flavor and gives your mutton and cabbage its authentic taste. I simply enjoyed it and I hope this video is tempting enough for you to try it too. As usual, all the ingredients used will be found in the drop-down description below. Please subscribe. Kindly hit the notification bell so you are notified when a new video is uploaded. I upload videos every week. Please like and share and your comments are very welcome. See you again soon in Paymas Kitchen. I am Selena. Have a beautiful day.